Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Now, a friend of mine came up to me the other day and said, David, do you know how to take the pictures off my Windows phone and put them on my Android phone? Well, I said, yeah, sure. I said, but didn't they do that to you at your carrier? He said, no. He says, I have AT&T and I bought the phone and I asked them to please transfer my pictures from my Windows phone to my Android phone. And they said, although they can't do that because they're different hardware. Different hardware. Uh, I told him that was ridiculous and I could certainly help him. And if any of you are switching phones, and, and not only switching phones, but also switching types of phones, I mean, a Windows phone and an Android phone both use one of these, a mini USB, a micro USB, I'm sorry, micro USB cable that comes with the charger. If you plug this end into your computer and you plug this end into your phone, you can actually use your phone as kind of like a little hard drive. And you can look at what's on the phone. You can see the folders. You can see where the pictures are. You can select all the pictures and copy them and put them in a folder on your computer. Then you unplug that phone, plug the little end of this into the other phone, the Android phone in this case, and then go to your computer and take those pictures and drag them over to your phone because you'll be able to see your phone on your computer and you'll be able to see all of its folders. And you can drag those pictures into where all your other pictures are stored. So it's not a difficult procedure, but I don't know why they didn't want to do it at the AT&T store for my friend because, you know, one would think they want to service the customer as best they could. But evidently, it was easier just to say, mm, no, nah, we can't do it. That's, uh, you know, different hardware. You know, I, they don't, you can't put them together. Another way you could do this is with an, a free application called Bump. You could put Bump on both phones and then just bump them together and transfer the files that way. No cabling needed for that. And also, you could investigate doing it via Bluetooth. Connect one phone to the other via their Bluetooth capabilities and then transfer the files that way. So there are myriad ways of doing it. Uh, the cable is the easiest way if you have a computer to put them in. But, you know, if you don't have a computer in the middle, you could always use either Bump or try the Bluetooth method. So if you want to transfer, you know, pictures from one phone to the other, go ahead and do that. Now, there's one more way you can do it, and that's via the cloud. Yes, the ominous cloud. Now, if you're using an Apple uh, iPhone, for instance, <clears throat> you can transfer your, your uh, pictures to a cloud provider that is available on both platforms. Let's say Dropbox, for instance. Dropbox is available on Windows, Dropbox is available on Android, and Dropbox is available on Apple. So if you, trans if you copied all your photos to a Dropbox account, you could use your Android or Windows or any other type of phone to get to that Dropbox account and copy those files back to the phone of your choice. So there are lots of ways to do this. And... Uh, so just don't say, oh, I've lost, I've changed phones, I lost all those wonderful pictures, because frankly, there's a lot of good pictures on people's phones. I mean, they use them as cameras. They don't buy cameras as much anymore because their phone does it. So, you know, they get a lot of valuable pictures that they want to keep that are on their phone. But you can transfer them around, various methods. So don't give up on your old pictures. Transfer them to a new phone or put them in the cloud or put them in your computer. And then maybe you could even print them out, you know, like the old days. Well, you have a good day now. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV.